Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 165. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Whew. Here we go. A few days later, the great prayer. Every year around this time, the Imperial family holds a ritual to pray for the peace and prosperity of the nation. This great prayer is especially meaningful because it's the first since we became an empire. Six dishes are presented as offering during the ritual. After the priests have tested the food, your majesty and his majesty must partake in them. Six dishes? It may be overwhelming, but you must consume a respectable amount, your majesty. You must take care not to knock over the food or spit it out. While there is no actual harm in doing so, it is considered inauspicious. I think I said that right. There are only a few dishes that Henry makes that I can stomach. So this is a problem. I could excuse myself from the rit ritual by revealing that I'm pregnant. But... I'm just beginning to see the results of the trap I set. This is good. This is for the good and Henry. Wait, this is the good of Henry and the Empire. I'll just have to endure the discomfort. But things didn't go as expected. The day of the great prayer. This isn't something I can just tolerate. Jeslin. Oh, okay, so in my first trimester, I could not stomach anything. And, you know, in my family, everyone did not have morning sickness. A lot of people, the women in my family did not have morning sickness. So I thought, oh, I will be fine. No, no, I got the worst of everything. And I could not handle shredded beef nor shredded pork. Those two makes me gag, and oh, I survived off of mac and cheese and crackers. And meat, red meat kind of grossed me out, but now I can eat it a little bit. It's gener generally good for the body, but it's very harmful for pregnant women. Is it just a coincidence? Or has someone caught onto our ruse? Oh, the father. Not Navier's father. What's her name? Krista's father. <laughs> I was planning to keep it a secret until Henry's birthday because I anticipate trouble from our adversary soon. But I guess I don't have a choice. <sighs> if this is someone's scheme, it is a very petty one. I'll eat this dish alone. Oh, I'm sure even the gods wouldn't want our unborn child to be harmed because of this. Oh my goodness. I'm two months along. So they announced it. Oh. The Remarried Empress, episode 165. Luncheon after the Great Prayer. Being a foreigner in this situation is a double-edged sword. Lacking blood relatives here means that the nobles will be falling over each other to become a key figure in the child's life. Oh. Please accept my deepest congratulations, your majesty. Thank you. That's Krista's father. For an old noble like him, such empty words are second nature. I doubt that that is what he really wishes to say. How could you have been so selfish, your majesties? Your majesty's pregnancy is a joyous occasion for the empire and what we have all yearned for. Yet you have kept it a secret, secret for two whole months. <laughs> 
that left us all in the dark and concerned over the air situation. That's tense. He's making a point of accusing the emperor and empress of deliberate deception. Was it him? Was he the one who offered the Jesselin? <laughs> Haven't we been hinting at it in a roundabout way? We reassured everyone that there was no need for concern and that we should be focusing on state affairs. If our assurances weren't taken at a face value, then that's not our fault. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Her Majesty's circle are truly in a celebra celebratory mood. Their laughter hasn't died down since the end of the luncheon. <laughs> that's to be expected. You should join them, Your Majesty. Your work can wait. We should only be thinking happy thoughts during the pregnancy. I need to finish this quickly so we can do that. Duke Zemencia is here to see you, Your Majesty. Mm. You wish to see me, Your Majesty. Yes, I've come across something quite interesting. Huh. Oh. Huh. What do you make of it? You forged my handwriting. I never wrote this letter, Your Majesty. Oh, are you trying to feign ignorance? It's clearly written there that the Empress is pregnant to prepare food that could harm the fetus. But would it arouse suspicions? Your Majesty, do you honestly think I would leave such incriminating instructions in writing if I was really behind this? A valid point. So why did you leave it in writing then? You should have disposed of it right away. He may be clever, but this childish tactic reveals that he's still young. Is this because of what I said at the luncheon? I was only sharing your worries as a loyal subject. Such retaliation is uncalled for. Hmm. This is a retali retaliation. This is an investigation. Bring me the log of books borrowed from the library. Huh? What is going on? Here is a list of books your grandchild borrowed. Let's see. When medicine becomes poison, healthy foods that should be approached with caution. Wow. Your grandchild has a unique taste in literature. <laughs> Holding them accountable as I did in a standard in high society. <clears throat> It's just a minor embarrassment, really. If he, if he found it truly offensive, he could use his imperial power to frame me. But he's choosing to prod me into confessing. He knows that he has more to lose from being called a tyrant than from the downfall of my family. I understand what he's thinking, but... To threaten me with my daughter's life? That is cruel. I didn't write. The letter. I see. T what a shame. What a shame indeed. Okay, so the past few episodes, honestly kind of been showing us the evil side of Henry and it's getting darker and darker. How the things that he does so far now that we're witnessing is pretty kind of gruesome. Pretty, it's like this guy that we've been reading for the past, what, 150 episode of this sweet guy who's just like in love with Napier and seems so innocent and silly, turns out to be a master manipulator. 
Wow. He fooled his his he fooled his whole empire, his kingdom, into believing that he's like a player, but he's not. Until his brother passed away, and wow, it's just he had he had all these reputations. It's just a lot. It's a lot that I'm digesting right now. Like he's really good at painting a facade, and it's just insane. I wonder how dark this will get, because. I mean, the story of Rashta is about to come to an end, and I knew some other drama will come in if this whole Remarried Empress series continues. So, wow. Okay. It's getting good. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments. And for all my, all my Patreon pledgers, um, enjoy the free month. I'm sorry for letting you guys down. I will still continue trying to upload as much as I can for other reads. Uh, I might drop a few because some of them are kind of not very popular or I haven't seen anyone kind of watched it on Patreon. I will kind of drop those and just continue reading the one that you guys religiously watch and catch up on. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!